one thing when I think of Suzy um, is that's where we purchase our food once a month. But when we first started getting our summer lunch program up and running the first year, not knowing at all what we were doing or how many kids we were serving, they did have a grant that needed to be um, put towards children. So they were able to help us with some food and help us get up and running that first year. And we really appreciated that. Um, as I was saying, we have a free summer lunch. And we served seven sites last year, five in Grand Forks and two in East Grand Forks. We use our third store to help clients with vouchers. About 450 families last year received clothing, furniture, and household items. Um, we have three units of transitional housing, one of permanent supportive housing. We have a program called Cause for, Cars for a Cause. And is what we do if someone donates a car to us instead of selling it, we just turn around and re-donate it to a family in need. We do a Halloween costume giveaway um, where we play games, frost cookies, um, cake boards, have lunch, and then about 150 to 200 kids each year take home a costume. We serve moderate to low-income families and individuals in Grand Forks County and the city of East Grand Forks. People we serve have limited income or income that barely covers basic needs. We provide the crisis assistance when the basic needs cannot be met. Think about working for $8 an hour, you have two children, and your car breaks down. It's going to cost you $350 to fix that car. So you need the car because you need to get to work, you need to get the kids to school or daycare. So of those basic needs, what are you willing to give up to fix the car? To give up your rent or just pay part of your rent? But then again, how are you ever going to get the other part paid because you're living from payday to payday? Um, are you going to come and use our food pantry and put that money that you might save towards that car repair? Are you going to let your utility boots go and then get a disconnect notice and then when you get that, what are you going to do about that? Or are you going to give up some medication for you or your children? About 80% of the people we serve are working, but yet we're still seeing a 40% increase in our emergency assistance. In our summer lunch program, we had a 33% increase, serving almost 12,000 meals last summer. And our food pantry so far this year has served 50 more families than last year. We offer a forward movement program, and this program offers case management to individuals in our community who are in need of support, um, for assistance either navigating through um, services or educational resources so that they can increase their self-sufficiency. In the program, the individuals meet with the case manager to assist with the various needs that they feel um, are important to them and they meet with the social worker. Um, this resource provides um, assistance to the clients who identify um, the need for moving forward in their lives and to meet established goals.